Hey all, it's Matt, your Average Gamer, and for this video, we're actually going to be ditching the recently nerfed Blasphemous Blade. They took away the poise damage and knockdown effect. It's still fantastic for bosses, though. I'm still going to be running a Strength Faith main, but for this video, we're going to be checking out some really cool early game weapons you could use with Blood Flame. And here we're going to start with a great katana on the map. I'm going to show you where it is. It's in the first lake you're likely to run across. There is a dragon here. I'm not going to spoil any of that for you. It's a tough fight. This is where it is on the map. You can grab the great katana, which has an awesome ash in overhead stance. And of course, we're going to show this off in the lands between because we haven't explored that much of the map yet in the DLC. We are going to show off a little bit of the DLC, but it'll mostly be mobs and stuff. I'm trying to keep this relatively spoiler free, especially since I'm early game and everybody right now is early game too. Because I know some of you guys are going to be watching these videos and you haven't had a chance to play yet. As a content creator, of course, we're going to be on the first night. Of course, a lot of people are going to be on the first night, but you may not be able to play till this weekend. So we'll keep it relatively spoiler free. We will show some mobs here in DLC and some of the damage you can get. These are some of the first mobs that you run into and we're able to get a good amount of damage. I didn't even think at that point I had any fragment upgrades so far. I ended up with one so far. And I was still getting good damage on the initial mobs and whatnot. The three strikes especially does a lot of damage. All right, before we talk a little bit more about the katana, I just want to mention real quick, thanks to everybody who subbed to this channel at this point. Also, if you're doing something in DLC, if you're having a lot of fun, comment below. Start talking about it. You can join the Discord too. It's going to be in the pinned comment. It's been really active lately. Also, if you get stuck on bosses, definitely use summons if you have to, or ask for help in my Discord or anywhere. It's no big deal. DLCs in From Software games are typically really difficult, and even me, the first time through Elden Ring's base game, I use summons. All right, so the three strikes ultimately are going to be your best bet here, because it's going to give you a lot of bleed buildup. I was realizing that really quickly. That's probably the best part of the katana. It also has a really good running R1. I imagine that's going to be great for PvP, because it has a pretty good reach on it too yeah it's one of those things where the running poke does a lot of damage as well i can definitely see that being useful for pvp and even for pve it's really useful and we're gonna have around 700 ar and keen affinity which is awesome let's jump into equipment and stats for this one we have the great katana in keen affinity with overhead stance we have any seal for buff samurai set on you can hit 51 poise though wing sword insignia lord of blood's exaltation melissa's prosthesis shard of alexander we have the thorny tier faith tier let's talk about stats and for stats on this one right here, we have 60 Vigor. Pretty much all the stats on these are the same because they're running them as Dexterity builds. We have 75 Dexterity with Melissa's Prosthesis. We have a good amount of Endurance at 28, 22 Mind. We have 15 Faith. That gives us 25 Faith with the Faith tier, by the way, so that we could use Flame Grant Me Strength, Golden Vow. I'm also using Blessing Spoon, and of course, Blood Flame Blade for a lot of bleed buildup. And next up, we have the Beast Claws. Now, this could be challenging without the knockdown on the Blasphemous Blade now. This is where it is south of Gravesite Plain. You're going to have to defeat a relatively tough enemy to grab the Beast Claws. By the way, I was doing these so quick that I had to get crafting materials, and I forgot to upgrade this one all the way. So is that plus 23 with both a B and Heavy and Keen? Got a feeling, though, given that it's with the rest of the Beast-related stuff, it's probably going to end up with an A in Strength Affinity and be better there, but I ran it as a Dex build here. Plus, you can use all three of these builds with the same exact stats and basically the same talisman setup and whatnot, too, which is pretty incredible. You have three great options here that you can grab right away in DLC. As you can see, the ash on this one is absolutely insane. By the way, I am loving these new Ashes of War so far. They are so cool. There's a lot of fighting moves and a lot of stuff that we saw in the trailers that we haven't gotten to yet. Of course, we're going to be grabbing stuff along the way. But just based off these couples so far, the Ashes specifically are absolutely awesome. And of course, they go well with Blood Flame Blade because a lot of stuff goes well with Blood Flame Blade. It's still a very, very good incantation. And even with all the nerfs that they did recently, it's one that's still quite good. Although I do believe they changed it for Spinning Weapon as they mentioned that that was possibly a bug. Even so, with the new weapons and most weapons, Blood Flame Blade will still be a good option. The location behind me, by the way, I'll show you a guide on my other channel. You can get there really early. We have the Beast Claw build, and we have Keen Beast Claw. It's plus 23, preferably plus 25. Any seal for buffs, we have the Samurai set on. Same Talismans, Wing Sword Insignia, Lord of Blood's Exaltation, Melissa's Prosthesis. We have the Shard of Alexander, and of course we have the Thorny Tier and Faith Tier as well. 
And we have the same stats, so I'm just going to go over stuff real quick again for people that are using a timestamp. 60 Vigor, 75 Dexterity with Melissa's Prosthesis. We have 22 Mind, 28 Endurance, a good amount of Endurance here. 15 Faith, that gives us 25 Faith with the Faith tier, so we use Flame Grant Me Strength, Golden Vow, Blessings Boon, and of course Blood Flame Blade as well for good bleed. And the last one on the list here, and my favorite so far, is the backhand blades. You can get these really early, not far from the starting point. You're likely going to run across these pretty much no matter what. They're not far off the main path. They're going to be right there, and these are absolutely awesome. We're going to showcase them now. So for these, you have a really cool Ash of War, and the Ash of War, which I believe is called Blind Spot, it allows you to dodge, much like Bloodhound's Finesse, and then counterattack for good damage. It really is great, and this is one of the new, I, I guess it's new, dual swords where you get two swords for essentially low weight it's awesome yeah i think these actually go well with the blue dancer charm if you're one of those people that doesn't need armor by the way for all of these builds you're able to hit 51 poise because none of them are too heavy the heaviest is the great katana and even so that one's not too bad by the way when you're about to get hit the main concept here is when you're going to get hit just hit the ash of war button odds are you're going to be able to avoid the attack counter attack with a powerful attack and that's going to give you a decent bleed build up too as you get in those quickly and then of course the regular light move set which is going to be your r1s in this case with how they work can give you a lot of bleed build up too but truly that that option to counter attack is really awesome being able to dodge certain attacks and then of course the fast movement and everything can be really convenient for a battle a lot of people like bloodhounds finesse i feel like this is kind of like a lighter version of that because you're going to get good damage and a lot of bleed build up too out of the ones on this list, this is my favorite. Is it the most powerful? I don't know. The Beast Claws might be the most powerful out of all of them. I, I don't know yet. We're still kind of learning as we go here. But is this one my favorite? And did I have the most fun so far trying this one out? Yeah, I think the Ash of War on this one is excellent. Yeah, the truth is we're going to eventually have to get a lot of time in on these weapons, and of course we will. We'll be able to go through the majority of the weapons in the DLC and take time with each one and make the best builds we can make. Now we're going to go over the Backhand Blades build. Now for this one, we're going to jump into equipment, and the first thing we have is the backhand blades in Keen Affinity with Blind Spot, Awesome Ash of War. We have any seal for buffs. We have the Samurai set on. We have the Wing Sword Insignia again, Lord of Blood's Exaltation, Melissa's Prosthesis, Shard of Alexander, and then we have the Thorny tier, Faith tier, and now we're going to jump into stats and talk a little bit more about the weapon. And the stats are the same here, 60 Vigor, 75 Dexterity, good amount of Durance at 28. I just want to mention real quick, by the way, I set this up so you could try all three with the same stats and give you a good chance to try out these weapons, and I'm sure you're going to find one you end up liking. I really like the backhand blades best so far. We're using Flame Grant Me Strength, Golden Vow, Blessing Spoon, and of course Blood Flame Blade for bleed buildup. Thanks for watching this one on my top new Dex Blood Flame Blade build so far that I found in DLC. I appreciate everybody. Definitely be sure to sub this channel because guess what? We're going to be covering Elden Ring's DLC like crazy. We're going to make you overpowered. We're going to make you powerful. And then we're going to even make some fun builds too as we go on too. It's going to be awesome. Hope everybody's enjoying the DLC so far. Of course, I am as well. I will catch everybody soon on this channel. I'm going to be posting more builds shortly here. Can't wait for that.